GOP pushes lie that the Biden State Department is, quote unquote, promoting atheism. Recently, 15 House Republicans in the United States Congress expressed, quote unquote, grave concern over President Joe Biden for using uh, tax dollars to, quote unquote, support atheism and radical progressive orthodoxy across the world. In 2021, a Notice of Funding Opportunity, or NOFO for short, was released by the State Department's Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights, and Labor, or DRL for short. It announced the availability of grants up to $500,000 to any organization that is, quote, committed to the practice and spread of atheism and humanism in South Central Asia and the Middle East slash North Africa. The grant is aimed to, quote, ensure everyone enjoys religious freedom. The House Republican calls the House Republicans called the DRL's program, quote unquote, constitutionally dubious. They also called atheism, quote, an integral part to the belief system of Marxism and communism. Uh, the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE for short, CARE's National Deputy Director, Edward Ahmed Mitchell, stated that this funding, quote, will contribute to the suspicion held by some people overseas that our government seeks to secularize the Muslim world by supporting foreign organizations and governments hostile to Islam. In a tweet, Nick Fish, president of American Atheists, called the letter, quote unquote, mind numbingly absurd. So there's a lot to get into in this story. So first of all, let's back up. So this, uh, what the hell? Wait, sorry. So um, this article, this letter that was recently pushed by 15 House Republicans is in response to a grant opportunity that was available last year, and this grant opportunity also closed last year. And we didn't get any... Oh my god, they were giving money away for atheism, and we didn't get... I know you, I knew you were going to say that. Um, oh, god damn it. Uh, this would have been perfect for us. I know... But anyway, so for some reason, they just discovered this program now. And so they issued this program now, even though this closed last year. Um, okay, the reason why I said, oh, no, is because I had a copy of the letter and I was actually reading it today. But now when I try to pull it up, it says this was set to private. So I need to try. I want to find this again. Um, so this is like next level absurd. So they're going on about how the state department is promoting atheism when really, when you look at the actual state department listing, wait, I can pull it up. Um, they basically just say that, you know, like everyone should be able to enjoy religious freedoms. It is within these are different articles of treaties that we signed to, to respect religious freedoms to that end, we want everyone to enjoy it. The objective of this grant is to combat discrimination, harassment, and abuses against atheist, humanists, and non-practicing and non-affiliated individuals for all religious communities by strengthening networks among these communities and providing organizational training and resources. So basically saying, like, we know that these people are discriminating against, we know that they face human rights abuses, and it is within our interest to provide them the funding to help combat these abuses against them that itself is not promoting a specific belief it's just saying we recognize that you're persecuted for your beliefs here are some resources to help you deal with and tackle and combat that discrimination that that's not an endorsement of atheism yeah i mean i think people understand like if a minority group was being oppressed and you were trying, it's 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 kind of like saying like, I don't know if the U.S. government tried to protect certain Jewish people in a certain in a place where if they were being discriminated, that wouldn't be an endorsement of Judaism or if Christians. In fact, like, we have an office and ambassador dedicated to combating anti-Semitism. 
So in the letter that the House Republicans wrote, they were talking about how if we have if we had grants like this for uh, Christians in China, people, you know, people on your left wing progressive radical side, they would be saying that this is unconstitutional and all this stuff. I'm like, the State Department does have programs for persecuted Christians. They have programs for persecuted Muslims. Like, what are you talking about? Like they they fight against the the persecution of like the rohingya like because of their muslim identity what are you talking about like we already do this yeah i mean like do they think like for you to not promote atheism you should like let atheists be murdered and tortured like i'm pretty sure most muslims and christians and hindus would agree that saying like hey maybe don't murder somebody for being an atheist is not necessarily an endorsement of atheism okay (laughs) like okay these people i don't know these people have an iq of 0.5 combined all of them together yeah Um, so this is my favorite part this can i read you a segment of this letter that the republicans wrote to be clear atheism and quote-unquote humanism are official belief systems And then they have a footnote to a quote by the American Humanists Association. And the tweet that they link to is the tweet when the American Humanists Association revoked their award that they gave Dawkins because of his transgender comments. So I don't know why they put a footnote to that link to prove that atheism and humanism are official belief systems. It makes no sense. (laughs) Like, to prove it, we have the fact that they revoked, they took away this award from Dawkins. Like, what? <laughs> so, th- there's like two levels. One, they're they're saying that atheism and humanism are official belief systems. It's like, okay, bro. Okay, so it's one level of like stupid. And then the second level is the fact that they used that tweet as a footnote to prove it. <laughs> okay. Um. As an initial matter, therefore, we would like to know what other United States government programs supported with appropriated funding are being used either to encourage, inculcate, or disparage any official belief system, atheist, humanist, Christian, Muslim, or otherwise. It is one thing for the department to be tolerant and respectful for a wide range of belief systems and to encourage governments to respect religious freedoms and interests of their citizens. It is quite another for the United States government to work to actively empower atheists, humanists, non-practicing, and non-decision and public decision-making. Yeah, this is just insane. So are you guys... I, like I to- wish the U.S. government was working to actively empower atheists. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I mean, I would be... Yeah, empower maybe, but like endorse... Like, honestly, as an atheist, if the U.S. government endorses atheism, I would be right there to be like, what the hell are you doing? This is not none of your business. Yeah, no, I was just making a joke. That actually would yeah. be weird. I would be against that. Yeah. Um, like, like, seriously, as... Yeah, me and Susanna, as atheists, if uh, the U.S. government one day were like, yes... Atheism is pro. We are pro atheists. Okay, like not a pro atheism. Okay, pro atheists. You have to be pro atheists because they're people, right? But because you have atheist citizens, right? So there you go. But if you're pro atheist, if you're like endorsing atheism, or if you're funding the promotion of atheism, okay, we here as Atheist Republic are like that is against secularism. The government has no business taking a side in religious affairs. You should just stay out of it, right? A lot of people co- are confused. They think secularism means the promotion of atheism, but a promotion of atheism by the government violates secularism. Um, these are simple things. I think people should understand that. Um, do we want to read this comment? <laughs> read this one. <laughs> <laughs> doorknob bed is saying not burning witches promoting atheism not stoning people to death promoting atheism allowing women to control their own body promoting atheism is that how this works <laughs> <laughs> um, i mean you guys i mean if you guys keep going like this you're making you're promoting atheism okay if you keep telling people that all these good things are atheism people are like hey maybe atheism is based that's a promotion yeah, no, okay no but here okay there I have to I have to read you this hilarious portion of this article. No, this letter. So this letter by the 15 House Republicans suddenly takes a turn. Listen to this, Armin. 
it, 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 take, it, it takes a left turn. It goes, Americans rightly discern this as part of the broader effort on the part of your administration to promote radical progressive orthodoxy abroad. Atheism is an integral part of the belief system of Marxism and communism. Atheism, <laughs> a few weeks ago, the United States Embassy in Germany erected a Black Lives Matter flag. Americans should be very alarmed at this. It's not, it's not only that Black Lives Matter remains a highly divisive and increasingly popular movement here in the United States. The display is also denoting a promotion of a specific radical organization. Other recent initiatives by the State Department include creating a quote-unquote special representative for racial equity and justice whose mission will be to spread critical race theory and other progressive dogmas worldwide in working to remove restrictions on abortions across the globe. Given then that they, they have all these questions for the State Department, the, the way they like, they have 12 questions that they must answer for. And one of them is basically like, would you impose, uh, oppose a future administration flying a Blue Lives Matter flag or other comparable cultural connotations at a U.S. embassy? How, how does promoting atheism in Muslim countries empower U.S. values and interests? I could actually talk about that for like 45 minutes. <laughs> I just liked how this letter like randomly took like a left turn like into a totally different culture war. Personally, I actually do think it's weird that the German embassy, the U or the United States Germ embassy at Germany elected a Black Lives Matter flag at the consulate. Like that does seem weird to me. But Armin, no, before we move on, we need to talk about this. This reaction from CARE. So I love that this letter from the Republicans actually prompted a reaction from CARE. Because when <laughs> the national deputy director said that this funding will contribute to the suspicion held by some people overseas that our government seeks to secularize the Muslim world by supporting foreign organizations and governments hostile to Islam. Wait, was like, the care, face. wait, <laughs> say, they, wait, what was the care's position that they, that they are that this can you say that again read it again sorry that this funding will contribute to the suspicion held by people overseas that our government seeks to secularize the muslim world by supporting foreign organizations and governments hostile to islam wait so the am i I'm like good <laughs> wait so care is agreeing with the gop here Basically, but from their perspective, they're like, we don't like this because this is going to make people think that we're trying to secularize the Muslim world and that you're you're funding things that are hostile to Islam. Yeah, that's our job. OK, that's what we're doing, yeah. but not the U.S. government. But this is very interesting because we have both um, American Christians and American Muslims fear mongering over this rise of atheism and secularism. Mm -hmm. So this is the Islamic left and the Christian right in the U.S. panicking over atheism. I just that mm -hmm. was a, that's very interesting that they're both agree seem to be agreeing in this with each other. Yeah, the statement right. from here really tickled me. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. I, I don't understand how they're like, how is this within the U.S. for how is this? How is this within the United States foreign policy interests? I'm like, I could talk for three hours about how this is within our foreign policy interests. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like that's I mean, an obvious a, answer. Yeah, I mean, it's a human rights issue. What are you guys talking about? Like, it's a human like people are being oppressed because of their lack of religion. And the United States is one of those countries that sometimes does, sometimes pretends to care about human rights and does actively try to promote it, right? You guys endorse this when it's other people, especially Christians. Now it's like atheists and non-believers. Like, what is wrong with this? They're being oppressed. They're being, they're being hunted down. And the United States, to be consistent, has to stand for them as well. Or I'll just be being hypocrite. You guys, this is one of those cases when you have privileges and... You don't recognize them. And then when other people are all getting, starting to get to your level, you think your rights are being violated, like, but it's just the privileges are being taken away and people are being treated equally. This is like, again, religious people not re re recognizing how many privilege, how much they enjoy their religious privileges that they have. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Anyways. 
I mean, I can, can we... think of it, I could think of like a few big problems the United States has had over the past 50 years that would have been, you know, greatly helped and mended by a presence of strong secularism across different areas of the Middle East. <laughs> like, but yeah. how was it within our interests? I don't know. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> sure. A good point. Um, the, the, yeah, and actually, you know what? I, actually, you're making a very good point because United States has a, had a poor record of promoting secularism, right? And this is actually the right way to do it, okay? Because, I mean, I don't know exactly how they're doing it, but the wrong approach is to force it down people's throats from top to bottom as if that's possible because that will contradict secularism, right? So historically, what the United States has done in promoting secularism is backing secular dictators, okay? Um, and that didn't turn out well. That led into people becoming more Islamic because like, if this is secularism, then screw your secularism, right? But the right way to do it is not to do it yourself. People are already there. People are already active on the ground and you can just support their work. And again, promoting secularism is not promoting atheism, okay? Secularism is good for everybody, including religious people. It's just like, it's a human rights issue. It basically requires people to be treated equally regardless of their, regardless of their religion. And we would want the United States to, you know, as a as a country that is supposed to be again i'm supposed to be supporting human rights around, around the globe this is one thing that they should be doing okay so again i'm not i'm not saying that they are sometimes they are sometimes they are not but th that's what they're supposed to be doing hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.